Alright guys, it's John from theproductivegarden.com here and just wanted to show you something today that we've got in our citrus tree. It's pretty common and they are stink bugs in the citrus tree. I'll try to find out um, more accurately what they are called but they're pretty easy to get rid of. Um, I prefer a more organic way which is simply just picking things off and squashing them. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'll show you what these bugs look like. Okay, so you can see the sucker there. Okay, and what these things do is they get in there, they've got a little um, probe that they stick into the branches there and they suck the sap out of it. I don't know if you'll be able to see it. So you can see there he's right down against the thing. I don't know if he's sucking it out yet. Okay, so they, they're sap suckers. So they suck the sap out and um, they can basically the life out of your tree. So we'll pull those things off and squash them. Right, if you're going to pull them off, good idea to wear a glove because they do exude a stinky liquid and if you get it on your hands you'll have the smell on your hands and you don't really want it um, if you're eating afterwards. I mean you should wash your hands when you're finished with these guys anyway, but um, wearing a glove will help with that. Okay, so we've got a few here. We've got one there. We've got another one down here. We've got... There's that other one. He's got one there. And we've got a couple more around the plant there. There's one up there as well. So we'll pull these bugs off and we'll squash them. Okay, get rid of them. One of the advantages of wearing gloves as well is you can actually just squash the things in your fingers rather than dropping them on the ground. It makes it a whole lot easier, but the smell is pretty strong though, so be warned. One thing with them as well is it's important to move around the tree because they'll be on all different sides of the leaves and moving around the tree will allow you to see them from different angles. That's another one. So I've found a bit of scale here. What I'll do is I'll just break that off and that'll kill that scale. Right, this tree that, this, that the um, stink bugs are on is an orange tree. But we've also got a mandarin tree. Now after, I've, after I'm pretty sure I've got them all on this tree, I'll go and check the mandarin tree as well. Right, I can't see any more there on this tree. I'll go and check the mandarin tree. Now, I don't necessarily expect to find some on this tree. Um, there have been previous years. What's this thing here? That's a grasshopper. It's probably eating insects, so I'll leave him there. Um, I have had other years where the scale have been on that orange tree, but they haven't been on this mandarin tree, so it may very well be that I won't find any on here anyway. But always good to check. Oh, we've got one. So squash him, spray his guts out everywhere. Alright, can't find any more in a mandarin tree. Like I said, it tends to be less prone to the um to the stink bugs. Here's another one here on the orange tree. Right, so I'm not having much luck finding any more. Um, there could be some young ones there. The young ones tend to take on the colour of the leaves and become hard to find. As they get older they turn that orange colour. So um I think that'll do for the day. So that's a way to get rid of stink beetles. Wear a glove, you can see stuff all over your fingers. Okay, make some, you can just squash them in your fingers if you've got a glove on, there's no problem with that. 
it'll smell whether you step on them or squash them in your fingers, so it's no big deal. Um, yeah, best to get rid of them because they will suck the sap out of the tree, which will eventually affect its health. There wasn't, I've seen much more than that on trees, and they've still been pretty healthy, but I'd, I'd rather just get rid of them. The healthier you keep your trees, the more resilient they'll be to, to repelling those bugs. Okay, so if you get those on your trees, pull them off, squash them. There are poisons you can get to do them, but if you're going to eat these fruit, you don't really want to be spraying poison on the tree because eventually you're going to eat it and you sprayed, po you sprayed poison on it, so it's not really good. Pull them off is the best way to do it. Okay, that's it for today. We'll see you next time. Happy productive gardening.